You've been on my mind I grow fonder Every day Lose myself in time Just thinking Of your face God only knows Why it's taking the only one that I want I don't know why I'm scared I've been here before every feeling every word I've imagined it all you never know if you never try to forgive your past and simply be mine I dare very little about my dad's past. It was too difficult and emotional for him to talk about. He did, however, write many articles and diary entries about the war. I never had any family on my dad's side except for one surviving brother. His mum and dad, all the other children, his sister and her baby were all killed. This particular newspaper article in the Australian Jewish Times in April 1989, titled The Will to Survive, gives a glimpse of his time in a concentration camp before his liberation. He writes, The scene at the camp inside and out was one of prostrate bodies, some still moving and others stopped forever. A few of us who were lucky enough to be on our feet were fully occupied with scratching our body frames infested by countless, countless lice or contending with perpetual dysentery. But I knew I had the will to survive. It was about all he had. On May 4, 1945, my grandpa was liberated from Gunskirchen concentration camp and as he wrote, that day became the most important anniversary of his life. The first jeeps of the American army arrived at the gates, throwing chocolate and oranges to him. He wrote of how one of his friends, who always seemed strong, clutched his chest and died a few yards away from the liberators. Why had this man's will kept him alive only to die at the last moment? After his liberation, he was sent to an American hospital camp where he spent the next two years suffering from malnutrition and bone and muscle shortening, 
Miraculously, he just avoided leg amputation. In 1949, my grandpa reunited with his brother and took the long boat ride to Australia. The brothers decided on Australia as it was neutral territory and far enough away to start a new life. It was not long after moving to Sydney that he met my grandma, Nancy Cole, a country girl, and had two beautiful baby girls, Jen and Vicky. Finally, he could start the life he dreamed of. Both daughters got married and ran a successful restaurant in the eastern suburbs together. Both my grandma and grandpa worked there. Vicky's son Jerry was the first to be born of the next generation, followed by myself and then my brother Brendan. After all the tragedy my grandpa had been through in his life, my memories of time spent with him were always happy. As proud as he was of his family, I was of him.